Hey folks, in this video we're going to discuss how to install the Houdini ESQ QuickBooks connector, or what we like to call ESQ QVC. I'm going to go ahead and, and go to Explore on Windows, and I've downloaded the uh, Houdini ESQ QVC Windows installer. I'm going to go ahead and launch that. We'll go ahead and go through uh, the options here. We're going to install in its own folder, Houdini ESQ QVC. And uh, what it's asking me to do now is select my QBW file which is my QuickBooks company file. I'm going to go ahead and navigate and select ASQ QBW. That's my company file. Try the files in use. So I'm going to go ahead and close QuickBooks. Like so. Select it once again. Click Next. Now it's asking me for port. Now, the QuickBooks connector is an intermediary application. Uh, it sits on the machine where QuickBooks is installed, and it, in turn, listens for Houdini SQ post messages. So Houdini SQ, whether it's SAS or locally on your network, will talk to the QuickBooks connector. And then the QuickBooks connector will actually, in turn, talk to QuickBooks. So what we want to do is specify a particular port where Houdini and the QuickBooks connector are going to use it to communicate. In this case, 2080 is the default. So I'm going to select that. And now I have to enter a password. This is the password that Houdini SQ is going to use to connect to talk to the Houdini SQ QuickBooks connector. Now the QuickBooks connector, since it listens for post messages, uh, you want to make sure that the only thing that can talk to it is uh, an application that has the password. So we're going to go ahead and give it a simple password for demonstration purposes and click next and that will install the QuickBooks connector. We're all done. Now to launch the QuickBooks connector I simply go to my start button and click Linear's Cube QBC run and that will launch my little window here and it tells me it's running. I'll go ahead and minimize that. Now if I go ahead and launch QuickBooks oops I'm sorry that's the wrong guy there. There we go. So I have QuickBooks up and running. So now we're not done with our configuration. Okay. There's one more quick step. We're going to go back to Houdini and go to Settings, General. And I'm going to just maximize. I'm going to select on the billing QuickBooks. I'm going to enter some primary information. What I need to include is an operating account name, and in this case it's Emerson Simon and Quincy. The company name uh, is Q, and uh, we're not going to do any taxes or anything like that. Let's go ahead and enter IP address. Since I'm running in local, I'm going to put local host here since QuickBooks and the QuickBooks connector are both on the same machine. I'm going to go ahead and uh, enter the port, which was 2080 by default, and the username that I used uh, when I launched the QuickBooks connector. Now I'm going to go ahead and, and click test to verify that it is working and connection successful. Hit save. Now, if everything's working correctly, I should be able to go to billing, click pre bill, and I should get a post a QuickBooks checkbox already selected for me. And that tells me that Houdini can now talk to the QuickBooks connector, which in turn can talk to um, QuickBooks. And that's all there is to installing and configuring Houdini SQ. Now this was a quick uh, a quick demonstration of, of, in, of installing the Houdini SQ QuickBooks connector. There's a longer video that explains configuring Houdini SQ and the QuickBooks connector. I suggest you look at that video. Uh, on our website or on our training center by clicking help within the application. Thank you for joining me.